At Eurosatri, we're going to be showing the first of the fourth generation Sandcat models. Um, and the first of these new models adds much higher underbody blast protection to the lineup. The fourth generation architecture also has extra built in modularity, um, allowing us to even more easily comply with requirements of various different customers, whether it's from police on one end of the spectrum, um, through paramilitary and up to full on uh, military and combat vehicles at the other end of the spectrum. The overall concept of the Senket is uh, utilizing a commercial off the shelf chassis and then upgrading the vehicle to a uh, armored vehicle which is comprised of composite materials and with the unique assembly method of uh, Plasan kitted hull allows us to optimize the weight of the vehicle. At uh, the Eurosatory we will show new configurations with new type of uh, weapon system that are installed over the vehicle and we will demonstrate some of our capability both for the Senket uh, family of vehicles and also for a lighter type of uh, vehicle. At Eurosatory we're growing the Plasan range with uh, two new vehicles that fit in below the Sandcat in the, in the weight categories. Um, the smallest and lightest uh, we actually already showed in uh, Mexico last month, it's the, the Yagu. Um, it's making its European debut at uh, Eurosatory. This is a one and a half ton, three man, highly agile, armoured, armed vehicle. Um, we've closed the triangle. Um, normally you would need to choose two out of three of being protected, of having firepower or of being light and agile. And the Yago allows you to be light and agile, high maneuverability, uh, be protected and with the firepower. The second new vehicle that we're launching at Eurosatory, making its world debut, uh, fits in between the Yago and the Sandcat in the, in the Plasan lineup in the very common four to five ton weight category. Um, it's a patrol vehicle for up to uh, six occupants and it's based on a very durable and reliable chassis that uh, we're using within its weight limits. A lot of these smaller vehicles are often built on lighter chassis that are stretched way beyond their actual limits and uh, the one that we'll be launching at Eurosatory sits comfortably within the weight limits that the very respectable um, manufacturer has certified the vehicle for.